Philanthropist. Family man. Advocate. Rancher. Businessman. These are just a few of the words used to describe the late Winthrop Paul Rockefeller. Born to privilege, when as he was called, never took his position lightly. His true calling was found in service to others, which he demonstrated through his many volunteer efforts and activism in support of literacy, scouting, conservation, and other efforts to better his community. In honor of his extraordinary accomplishments and commitment to the people of Arkansas, the Winthrop P. Rockefeller Cancer Institute was renamed in his honor in 2007. The name change was announced at the groundbreaking of the Institute's 12-story expansion, in which you stand. In 2005, Wynn was diagnosed with myeloproliferative disease, a rare blood disorder that can develop into leukemia. The disease would claim his life just one year later. Thanks to support from the Winthrop Rockefeller Foundation, the Institute's ability to treat patients experiencing myeloproliferative disease and leukemia is growing with the goal that no Arkansan should have to leave the state to receive the highest quality cancer care. Wynn was the only son of former Arkansas Governor Winthrop Rockefeller and actress Barbara Sears. Wynn attended Oxford University and graduated from Texas Christian University in Fort Worth, Texas, with a degree in ranch management. He used his education to serve as chief executive of Winrock Farms, a cattle ranch founded by his father, located on Petty Jean Mountain near Moralton, Arkansas. He was also widely known for his involvement in the Boy Scouts of America, serving as president of the Quapaw Area Council and as a member of the National Board of Directors. In 1996, Wynn was elected Lieutenant Governor of Arkansas. He was re-elected in both 1998 and 2002. In 2005, he began a campaign for the Republican nomination for governor, but bowed out of the race when he became ill. In consultation with his physicians at the Winthrop P. Rockefeller Cancer Institute, Wynn traveled to Seattle's Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center for treatment. After two unsuccessful bone marrow transplants, he returned to Little Rock July 8, 2006. He died eight days later. We honor the late Lieutenant Governor and proudly carry on his tradition of serving Arkansas and her people now and in the years to come.